Hey, all viewers and viewers, my name is John Red Stratist. Welcome to Will You Press the Button with myself and Phil. How are you doing? Ah, indeed, yes. Uh, it's time. We haven't done this in a while, have we? Will no, You we Press haven't. the Button. Uh, browser game uh, that we haven't haven't got. Haven't, yeah, we haven't done it in quite a long while, so it's no. good to have, a, have another little go and ponder the scenarios that we receive. The conundrums, Phil. Yes, That's we, it, conundrums as well. Yeah, I think yeah. in Will You Press the Button they're called dilemmas. Dilemmas, pretty, yeah. yeah. I mean, probably pretty much sums up what they are. Anyway, you, you guys out there watching, you... You know, if you've, if you've watched any of our Will You Press The Button videos by now, you, you know what the deal is with these. So uh, I don't think much explanation is necessary. And if you've never encountered this before, then, um, well, have you been living under a rock all this time <laughs> you or been, what? Yeah, yes. well, it's different because uh, uh, we also do Would You Rather. It's different. Would you rather you get two of uh, either, like, two bad scenarios or two good scenarios or something? Yes. Will You Press The Button is you usually get something nice, but there's, like, a catch, catch to it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Phil, so, so. number one. To start us off, Let's start the, us uh, off. the good thing is you can summon any character slash creature that has ever been conceived, but each time you want a new character slash creature, you must kill the old one and can never summon them ever again. So think of this right. kind of as like a dark version of Pokemon. I'm sorry, Pikachu, yes, but you've like outlived your usefulness. <laughs> yes. It seems like it, doesn't it? Now, when they say character, do they mean character from like a, a film or a game or something I like think, that? Um, it can be literally anything. Uh, any sort of character or creature from, you know, any sort of media, any sort of mythology, any sort of folklore. There's no kind of um, kind of restrictions in that regard by the looks of it. So uh, Sam Hendricks down in the comments has found the loophole if you want to know what that is. Uh, basically he says, you know, just summon another summoner who can then summon the original creature again. So uh, oh, yeah. there's your loophole. I suppose you could do that. I suppose you could do that. There's yes. a loophole in these things, isn't there? It's Indeed. crazy. Yes. It's certainly crazy. So I'm, I'm just trying to imagine a situation in real life where you would actually need to summon a character or a creature. Because, um, of course, you know, when I read that for the first time, my immediate thought was kind of Pokemon and people sort of battling each other. But then again, in the real world, you know, how often do, does one go around having duels with other people, you know? Well, exactly, yeah. And, yes. and, and with, there was duels, in, obviously, historical duels in the past. Uh, but what about if you could summon the Incredible Hulk? Mm -hmm. Think about that. You eh? could, couldn't you? Yes. And then you've got, and then you've got someone to uh, to batter. But if you wanted to sum summon someone else, uh, then you'd lose the Incredible Hulk forever. Indeed. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Well, um, I mean, I, I, I'm actually, I don't really have any strong inclination on this one, Phil. No. Um, I'm just thinking. No, not not really. Not. No. I think I'm on the same boat as you here. Yeah. Should we go with yeah. Sam Hendricks's uh, loophole and just press the button? Press that uh, button. There we go. We'll do that then. We'll press that button. So, 67% uh, of people did press the button. 33% okay. did not. So, we're in that kind of boat of people who I think have seen that loophole. On to yeah. the next one. Okay. So, you can turn into any animal and back to human whenever you want with no limitations, but you can't have sex anymore while you're human. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so there's going to be no little, uh, no little Babby Andrews or little Babby Phils. No. That, no can, uh, that can <laughs> escape into the wide world. The pitter patter yeah. of little bearded ginger babies. So especially, do you want to do you want to turn into an animal and human back again? But you can never ever have sex uh, sexual intercourse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, say you can't have sex while you're an animal, but then again, <laughs> oh, that's a bit weird. Let's not go there. <laughs> well, it is a bit weird, but yes. uh, technically, at the end of the day, it wouldn't be bestiality because no, you are true, the animal. Not. True, it wouldn't be. Yeah. Would it? No. Yeah, see, see, you know, can't be accused of bestiality if you are an animal in bed, <laughs> like uh, Philip Kirkner <laughs> says down in the comments. <laughs> wow. Yes. 213 um, likes he's got for that one. 213? Wow. Yes. Wow, lots of people are, are loving that. They are indeed. Um, I mean, I'm going to be. <laughs> I don't see any reason which I would need to turn into an animal, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, we did. The, why, why do you need to, and if you, uh, especially to, well, it might be nice to experience. What happens if you get stuck, though? I know, that's the thing, yes. There's I mean, a possibility then again, you could get stuck. I mean, then again, it says you can do it whenever you want without limitations, so I guess. Without limitations, okay, so. I guess that kind of precludes any sort of danger of uh, getting stuck as an animal or anything like that. But, uh, you know, my personal inclination is to say I will not, Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. That one? Okay, we'll go with that will one then. Not. Ooh, that was quite an um, interesting split. 49% pressed the button, but 51% didn't. So, uh, people value their sex right. more than being <laughs> animals. <laughs> Okay, exactly. Yes. Well, I would have thought so in this day and age. Lovely. Okay. So, next conundrum, Phil. You gain a trillion dollars, 
you will never lose access to it and can use it for whatever you desire, but you will drop dead in 20 years. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, Ooh, okay. Uh, so that, that, what, what, what will that be? 20 years, you say? So yeah. what am I now? I'm currently I'm currently 28 years old. So, mm. Oh, God. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll die... <laughs> before 50, I'll, yes. Die before 50, but still you get a trillion dollars. Now, you see, if uh, I was something like 79 years old or something, this wouldn't be so much of a conundrum, because by the time I'm 99, I probably would be dead anyway, but... Uh, I think that's... Mm. A trillion dollars is a bit too much. Yeah. I you would know, say you really wouldn't know what to do. You really wouldn't know what to do with it. Like if you, if you, if you, so people who win like you know ten million in the lottery and they don't know what to do with it. Indeed. So yes. if you win a trillion, I, I don't think I want to die at forty-eight. No, you don't. That's that's too early. That money yeah. doesn't always buy you happiness. Okay, will not then. Exactly. I think that's a will not on that yeah, one. Yeah, let's go will not. I want to uh, live a good life. Okay, we're in. Um, yeah, we're in the just the slim majority again, 52%. World uh, War so Three strategy not... game there. Oh. Um, I'm sorry to tell you, but we don't we haven't had World War Three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you feel the tension rising, Phil? Conflict of nations. Exactly. Play now. Or, uh, you know, play on 888poker.com, you know. So, uh, oh gosh, yes. I'm not a betting that. person. <laughs> I, okay. I, don't, I don't aim to bet. No, yes, you don't. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so, next conundrum. You become the president of your favourite region of the world with ultimate authority, but Skrillex is your vice president and you cannot fire or replace him. Okay, so, so okay. you're not president of any country, but you've got uh, one of the top dubstep artists in the world. Yes, I mean, is that a I don't bad see, thing? I don't see a bad thing. No, it, it, some of his music's really quite good. Yeah. I know I know. For, for some, some people are not a fan of dubstep. I know you don't, you're not a big fan of dubstep. I find it all right. <laughs> so I'm not too... I don't mind it, but I, like the, I, I don't uh, see why it'd be a, a non-conundrum. I like the uh, best comment down below by Alexander Josiah Botter. It's a quote, What should I do, Skrillex? Then Skrillex says, Drop the taxes. <laughs> ah, you yes. see? Ah, no, that's yeah. clever. That's good. That Thanks, is. Skrillex. Yes. I think I'd press the button. Yeah, yeah I think I would as well. I, I, mean, I don't see know, a downside on that one. I don't see a downside really either. No. I mean, I'm sure Skrillex is a very nice person. Uh, yeah. All that, so, uh, yeah. Watch as we now get comments below saying that uh, Skrillex is actually like a wanted war criminal or something who bombed an orphanage full of terminally ill children or whatever. But, uh, yes. Okay, thanks for the uh, dark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, that was very bad of you. Oh, I know. Terrible, isn't it? Okay. Ooh. Next conundrum or dilemma, shall we say. Right, so um, the thing is, well, the good thing is you will receive an amazing gaming computer, but the only operating system it can support is Windows Vista. Well, my immediate inclination here is will not because i already have a pretty amazing game computer and it has windows 10 bitches so yes uh, you do have windows and and it's a lot better than your potato pc yeah i don't well i've got no i've got a gaming laptop so yeah and uh we oh god let's let's not talk yeah. about windows vista i know it's uh, a horrible one <laughs> but yeah we'll not you've got a game pc i've got a gaming laptop we're all set we yeah. don't need no we don't need we'll anything not, else ladies and gents we're yeah going with that that was no nice, real, easy one. Yeah, there was no real question there, was there? Yeah, we're in the majority, 55%. Um, didn't press. Okay. It's good. Okie doke. So, um, you have the ability to turn invisible, but uh, for every minute that you're invisible, a minute is taken off of your lifespan. Oh, okay, God. Yes. Um, oh, so, God, that's a, bit, that's a bit worrying. Because shortening you your life, be, yes. Yeah, because you could be in for... I mean, uh, uh, so every time you're invisible, every minute that passes, you're taking a minute off your lifespan. Yeah. yeah. But um, Jake Hall down below says, so you basically age? Because if you think about it, you know, a minute of our life is passing by every moment. So I think, I don't know if he's kind of misunderstood it a bit. Effectively, it means, you know, an extra minute being taken off your life for every minute you're spending invisible, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Yes. I, I think, think I've, I've got that. that. Yeah, I think I've explained <laughs> it well, I hope. Yeah. Yes. Okay, um, I mean, being, you know, being able to turn invisible would have its perks, but uh, then again, you know, I don't know, in the real world, where would you need it? I mean, if you're a super spy, you need, you, you know, you take advantage of that. I'll be perfect, it'd be that. perfect if you're a spy, but, but I'm, not uh, spy. I'm afraid no, we're not James Bond, are we? No, we're not James Bond. Uh, could you imagine uh, what James Bond would be like if he could turn invisible? 
Well, I'll well, tell you what, it'd make, it make his missions easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know. Um, oh, money, Penny, I'm just going to sneak into your house whilst you're getting undressed. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, no. Did the Sean Connery one? <laughs> the Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Yeah, Connery. Talks about like yeah, the, in every I think movie. I've heard rumours, obviously, that the um, there was supposed to be a uh, new James Bond this year, but it looks like because of the yeah. obviously the virus, the coronavirus is going on. Yes. It's been pushed back. Yes, so, which is a shame because I like a good James Bond film. Mm. Um, Craig, the man who always says, "I don't know if I'm going to do another one," but then immediately does another one uh, because uh, because uh, you know a little bit a little bit extra in the back pocket. Indeed, a little bit of cash money. Always sways his mind, doesn't it? Yes. No, Craig, you know what you're up to. Indeed. Okay, so uh, are we going with maybe Will Not or. Yeah, we also we don't want a minute taking up our life, yeah. so yeah. we've been going with will not for quite a few of these, I must say. We have them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're in the minority now. Forty-one percent. Uh, Seems uh, to be in the minority a lot here, don't we? Indeed. <laughs> okay, next one. You live forever, but you can't kill yourself when you don't feel like living anymore. Mm. Okay. Mm. I feel like. Okay. Um, now, will that happen? Because yeah. you might, you might, you might not. You might yeah. always feel like. Living. But True. I suppose. Living for living forever is never because, like, uh, you, you're basically going to see your, your family die around yeah. you. Yeah, I think we've That's had. Amazing. I can't remember if it was here on Will You Press the Button or whether it was on a Would You Rather, but we've had something similar to this before. I think, yeah. and I think on that occasion, you know, we answered that we wouldn't want to live forever, precisely for that reason that I think you've just given. So uh, because you'd see your family, yeah, it? yeah, it's it's not always the best thing to be immortal. Yeah. Indeed, we're going will not then. And again, we're in the minority. Only 47% Oh, people. for crying out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Marapets, play for free. We can sign up now, Phil. So, so now press that and you might get a virus. Yes, Yeah. What is, what is this advert down here but below it all? How will I get rid of her? I've noticed she seems to have a lot fit. of anime adverts. <laughs> yes, I wonder why that is. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, next one. Cybernetics becomes a common form of surgery, but there is no other music type than dubstep, techno, trance, and electro swing. Okay, so basically cybernetics comes everywhere, yes. and sort of music associated with that, well, and techno and everything, just becomes the norm. So, you, so there'll be no other forms of music, so no oh. classical for you, no uh, Frank Sinatra's, oh. uh, none of that. Oh, uh, I don't know about you, but I can't live in a world with the, you know, without my Sinatra, without my classical music. Well, I could because I, th I think yeah. no, I, I think cybernetics would be good because they can replace a lot of things. True. I know there's yeah. that game, isn't it? The um, what is it? Uh, Deus Ex, mm. yes. uh, where things are replaced by cybernetics, but they can fix things like limbs and mm. uh, you know you could have a if you um, lose an eye or go blind or something, you could have cybernetics to bring the vision back. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's kind of uh, like uh, the altruism question. Will you give up something you like in exchange for this invention that will massively benefit humanity? Okay, well, it sounds I think like we'll a, press uh, the button. Yes, yeah. pressing the button sounds like the right thing to do here. Boom, press that button. Wow, and we're in the minority. 44% uh, people just... Uh, oh. Only 44% would uh, willingly do that. It's a good job we're not eating those beans. I know. Because I tell you what, we'd be eating one every because we've been in the minority for ages here. That'd be a lot of dog yeah. food and vomit flavoured beans. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was fun, that. Okay. <laughs> fun, fun is one of those things where, you know, it was kind of like uh, what you call type 2 fun, that bean boozle challenge. It's like at oh. the time, you know, we were like, why did we decide to do this? But looking back on it, we realised it was quite hilarious. It um, was quite funny. It yeah. was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. Doing that sort of stuff. Okay, next conundrum. You can smell and taste colours, but you are blind. Hmm. Okay, okay. A funny one. Right. I mean. Okay. You can smell and taste colours. I mean, do you really want to. I uh, nah, I don't really want to lose my vision. Nah, Vision's not really. one of the. It's, it's, it's lots of nice things to see out there. Yeah. And to be honest, do I want to lose my vision in order to taste yellow? I know. What do you, I mean, I, I, yeah, my, yeah. my inclination is to uh, will not because I mean, you know, I still, you know, we, we still have a rich variety of sensors as it is. Uh, my trade off uh, one of our most important ones for something which I'm going to be honest, you know, it's hard for me to really uh, kind of conceive of what it would be like to be able to smell and taste colours. So. Oh, can you imagine if you had the ability to taste colours? You know, uh, in some supermarkets, they sell those rainbow cakes. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. <laughs> I bet that. Or, or Skittles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, imagine, e imagine eating Skittles. You'd just be like, what the... I know. Because you'd, you'd taste the fruity flavour of the Skittle, but you'd also taste the colour as well. So it'd yeah. just be like an amalgamation of intense taste. What if, you know, uh, taste of colours, it just tastes like you're licking paint or something? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> will not. Is that what you do in your free time? Uh, no. Make paint, yeah. <laughs> no, will not, but yeah, don't want to lose our vision. Yeah. No, will not. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a clear majority here. 73% were in that uh, bracket Good. there. Which is fantastic. Like. Next, please. Okay. Next dilemma. So, your uh, good point is you get an endless supply of 3D Doritos uh, and its various flavours, but production of bacon gets cancelled instead. Ooh. I mean, I mean bacon Ooh, okay. is nice, but I'll, I'll be honest here, you know, as, as much as I do like bacon, I do feel like I could live without it. Yeah, uh, I want to have Doritos instead. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, nice cheesy Doritos, they're always good. Ah, what would it be for me? I mean, I do like bacon. To be honest, uh, I I am I do have a weakness for crisps. Yeah. So I think I think I could if I had to choose between the two, I could probably go without bacon and go yeah. for and stick the Doritos. I yeah. think. As much you know, you know, some people out there will be thinking, "Oh, Red, how could you take away one of the key ingredients of a full English breakfast?" But yeah, I don't mind. I don't really eat know? full English breakfast. Also, no. you could. You know what you could do? Mm-hmm. Make bacon-flavored Doritos. Oh, you Nothing could about do, that. Actually, yeah. Yeah. What about using uh, artificial know, flavors? Yeah. What about um, vegetarian substitutes for bacon? Do you have to cancel exactly. them as well, or could you make them? Ah, that, that's not specified. It's not, is that's it? Not, no, I think we'll press the button because I, I, I like Doritos. <laughs> yes. Uh, Alan Sidel down in the comments says, "Jewish and a Doritos lover." Ha. So yes, uh, he can't eat bacon, bacon anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we're pressing the button. Okay, um, we are. Minority again. Forty-two percent press the button. It seems. Oh. So, uh, wow, a lot of people love their bacon. Yeah, they yeah. There is their, a lot. Of, there is a lot of love for bacon. Mm-hmm. Indeed. So, next one. You get to redesign your own physical appearance, including gender, but the process involves difficult to use sliders and cannot be redone. So, <laughs> Wesley Hughes says uh, Skyrim reference. So it's kind of like the character creator from Skyrim or Fallout. Once yeah, once it's, you've done it, it's done. That's it. Yeah, that's it's it's, it's um, yeah. You, so you have the difficult to use sliders, like you get in those RPG games. Yes. Um, uh, but you can change everything. Uh, nah, no. I'm fine with the way I look. Thank you very so much. I, yeah, I yeah. Well. So, um, and we're in the minority again. Forty-three percent. Oh, for crying out loud! Uh, what's going on here? Fifty-seven percent. I sound like they're not entirely happy with their own appearance, which uh, is kind of sad. But yeah. uh, okay. Okay. Next one. You'll be able to learn everything super fast without needing to go to school, but you won't be able to socially interact with anybody who still does. So, uh, Courtney and Mika says, yay, no more nightmares about middle school. Well, um, hmm, okay. So, it's, so you gain a lot of knowledge. Yes. Basically, without having to go to a school. But uh, anybody who does go to school, you can't socially interact with them. Well, That's not okay. to say you can't socially interact with anyone else, though. Exactly, eh? Yeah. So you've still got that. Mm-hmm. And you've got, you've got tons and tons of knowledge. Indeed. And who doesn't love a bit of knowledge? Who doesn't love knowledge? A bit of knowledge gets you out. What's the, what's the cliched saying, Andrew? Knowledge, knowledge is, power. exactly. Yes. So, See, there you go. Power. There you go. I think the press the button knowledge. on this one. Yeah, yeah, we're in the majority, 56%. Oh, we would the be on that one. Yes. See? Because everyone hates school, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, I remember those days. Uh, next one. Your physical appearance is no longer something that bothers you. All of the worries it brings disappear, but you must move countries and make new friends. Okay. I mean, I'll be honest, my physical appearance right now doesn't bother me anyway, so I, my inclination is to will not, to be honest. What about you, Yeah, Phil? because, uh, yeah, same here, really, and, and you don't really need to, and why do you want to, they moving yeah. all the time, you know yeah. what I mean? you wouldn't want to do that, so I think it's a clear yeah. will not on this one. Uh, yeah. 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 No. And we're, oh, it's a much slimmer margin this time. We're um, just in the minority, 49% oh. who did not. 40, oh, yeah, that's that's we are in the yeah. minority today, yeah. Mm. That kind of follows on, though, from that other one about the uh, physical appearance again. People maybe yeah, we've had two physical appearance sessions here. Yeah? I don't yes. know what's going on there. Mm. Strange. Um, okay. So, Next conundrum. You can switch the lights on and off, but you will be blind in one minute if, after every time you used it. Mm. So. The- well, so, you know, if you do turn the lights off, well, it's pitch black, so you can't see anyway. So. But when you turn on your night lips, <laughs> yeah. you might lose a bit Little of vision. I don't like this one. I don't yeah. like this. No, this is this is you know, it's, uh, both bad things. You can't really touch a light switch without yeah. <laughs> air. 
I will not on that one. And in, in real life, I can just flick that light switch at my leisure, and I'm fine. So, will not, yeah. really. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah, we're in the stonking majority there, 67%. But that means 33% yeah. of people, for some reason, press the button. I don't know why. <laughs> don't why press the button there. That seems yeah. a bit of a silly one. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Next one. Ability to switch gender at will, but you get okay. uglier each time you do so. Tim Williams right. says, shit, I'm far down enough on that ladder as is. Oh, <laughs> well, wow, a bit of self-deprecation. I know. Uh, Tim, I'm sure you're beautiful. I'm sure you're fabulous. Anyway, fabulous, that's a good, that's a good word. Fabulous, yeah. yes, I'm fabulous. Uh, so you can change the gender, but each time you change your gender... So does that mean... So for us, obviously, if we change our gender to female, would it go uglier? But when we, so if we turn back to male, would it go again? So I you'd think, get yeah, uglier again. it gets uglier and uglier. Oh no, one. thanks, no, yeah. no, I thanks. Think it's will not. Clear, will not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I totally again. want them to change to be female anyway. Uh, yeah. Happy with him. Unless I wanted to play with some boobies. Yeah, I knew that was coming. There you go. Yeah. The boobalage. Yes. He's trying to sucker, sucker in a lot of the uh, males with that uh, promise. But, yes. Yeah, I think so. Okay, you'll make everyone in your life happy and never want for anything, but you will die in two years, but will be perfectly happy until then. Okay, so um, oh, well, you'll be happy. Nice. Well, let's see. Mm. It is it is nice you make everyone happy, but you're going to die, so uh, I'd die at 30. Yeah, uh, you know, I like to think that the um, thing is, uh, you know, people are fairly happy as is at the moment, and I'm fairly happy as is at the moment with my life, so uh, I don't really see any point to pressing this button to be honest yeah because oh, it's just that, that's what you see die in two years that's really not good um yes. you to do that yeah yeah I th yeah i think i'll go with you on this one yeah we'll not yeah uh we are yeah in the majority 53 percent in the majority in this one yeah good next one you can bring the dead back to life but it would require you to sacrifice a live person in exchange Fyodor oh, Sabrov says goodbye Justin Bieber, hello zombie. <laughs> ah, but yeah, mm. do you get to choose? Yeah, can who... you choose who you bring him back? And the thing is, you know, it, it, when you bring them back, do are they, they going to be zombie? Yeah, or will they still have full mental, you know, emotional faculties? Yeah, happen, that's the thing. It, it might not. Yes. But, and, and you're just basically taking away someone's life. Yes. Just to bring back this dead person who could potentially be a zombie or act in a zombie way and not have their, their full, like you said, their full mental faculties, which Indeed. will be... And, and then all of a sudden, someone's just happy walking down the street. Oh, what a beautiful... Uh. Indeed, yeah. What yeah. if I uh, sacrificed you, then brought you back to life as a zombie? Would that be a significant upgrade on how you are as, as right now? <laughs> Dearie me, no, I have to go. Uh, uh, no, I don't, I don't think I would do it. That's a bit unfair no. on a live person. Yes. The people who have died have, have died now. Just let them be dead. Yes, let them be dead. Yeah. Let them be dead. Okay, uh, we're in the minority. Only 37% of people oh. press that. Wow, uh, some people oh, are okay with sacrificing it... people around them. <laughs> well, it could be. What about for the people? You've got to consider the people who have, who've had their relatives die True. or yeah. something. You might want to yeah. bring them back to life. Yes. Mm, uh, I mean, would you sacrifice someone for a relative? No. Bring a relative back to life? No, probably not. I would like to think, but uh, yes. Oh dear, what maybe. about if you could bring? What What about if you could bring a relative back to life and they would have all their mental faculties and everything just as they were? Would you Would you do it? Uh, no. Again, I probably wouldn't. Because again, it's that whole thing, you know, you're sacrificing someone and that person doesn't deserve to die just so you can... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good point. If, if, if you great. know, we're, we're going to be full sort of, you know, moralist, moral about this and all that. Yeah, it's got to yeah. be moral about it, yeah. That's yes. fair enough. Okay, our next dilemma. You can go back in time whenever you want, but Ooh. if you get within 100 miles of your past self, you die. I mean, um, basically, uh, this is uh, kind well, of easy, just... isn't it? It's easier well, because yeah. you can you can easily do it and go to places where you've never been. Exactly, yeah. Just because... go back to times when you were not born, you know. So as long as I stay away from the early 1990s or any time after that, I think, uh, you know, we're generally okay. And if I do go back to the, anywhere within that time period, just go somewhere completely far away from uh, wherever I was at that yeah. time. Yeah, and it, you could even, you wouldn't even have to move, couldn't you? could stay in England, just yeah. go to the places of England that you wouldn't have gone. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, you see, this is exactly. a lot more yeah, of a that's a nice one. Yeah, there's, there's ways to do that. Press the button then, Phil. 
press that button. We should be in the majority on. here. Yes, we are. 57%. I'd have press thought the button. so. Indeed. I'd have thought so on that. Absolutely. Okay. Next one. You would never get itches, but you would have sky blue skin. <laughs> so like Avatar, Yeah, like Avatar. Yeah, like Avatar. Like Avatar. <laughs> so, uh, Cameron Lee uh, Curtis says, I'm blue, da ba dee da ba <laughs> Oh, that song. That's yes. a great song. I used to love that. I think it's oh, my ISIL 65. Whenever I hear it, I, it always gets stuck in my head. And yeah, no, it's a classic song. I think, it's, I think it's by an Italian band. That's who they were. Eiffel and I think 65? it was five. Eiffel 60, yeah, Eiffel 65, yeah. Italian band, and I think it was released in the 1990s somewhere, I can't remember yeah. the exact, um, but it's, it was a very popular song, I think it was one of those sort of one-hit wonders. Yes, uh, the thing, like, if you asked me to name another Eiffel 65 song, I could not. I can, I move, your, it... move Your Body. Oh really, is that one? Yeah. Okay, right. I used, to like, I used to like them, but we, when we were back in school, we used to have dance class oh, right. as one of them for PE, yeah. and one of them was uh, dancing to Eiffel 65 Blue. Dab a day. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Uh, the only time I remember my high school having a dance class was once in year seven, whenever it was. We did it for all about a couple of weeks and then never ever did it again. <laughs> we had two. We had one, yeah. and then we had one around Christmas time called social dancing. Social and dancing. And when you were younger, yeah, uh, people felt very nervous about this one because yeah. social dancing was all about dancing to Christmas songs uh, with a girl. Ah, yeah, I imagine yeah, it's when so you, you dance, <laughs> like, like sort of ballroom dancing yeah. with them. That's what that's what would happen at, at my uh, secondary school every Christmas time. Let me guess, we would do the like social a dancing. <laughs> situation where all the kids are just sat in their uh, rows in the hall and nobody wants to be the first person to get up and go and ask someone to uh, dance. Well, no, you, you know, you'd be in a big circle and you'd ah. move along. Ah, the okay, guys would right. move along, so you'd dance with yeah. a different girl every time. Okay, so I see uh, so. Uh, you're kind of uh, forced to uh, kind of go from girl to girl, kind of. Yeah, yeah okay. so it's like that. Yeah, social yeah. dancing it was. So that's uh, that's what it was. That's, that's what it was all about. It's funny yeah. About that. Yeah. I don't think my school had anything like that. Okay. Right. Um, back to um, this. Uh, so no yeah. itch is in exchange for being completely blue. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, it'd be nice to, to never have to itch. Although no, no, no. I've just had a thought. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes really nice just to sit there oh, and have a nice yes. little scratch yes. of that itch. Well, yeah. Mosqui like a, mosquito you know. bites. I can understand your way. What's going on? Yeah. Mosquito bites are horrendous. Oh, yeah. And you always constantly. Itch. But when you get one that's nice, it'll be really nice and you've got and, one, like, uh, uh, you know in the middle of your back and you just spend all that time sort of trying to get your arm over your shoulder and you just get it it's so satisfying yeah you and plus if you do suddenly get sky blue skin what happens if you get captured by the government and then experimented <laughs> on yeah find out why you've got blue skin also i'm kind of thinking yeah. if i had blue skin it would look very weird given that i have reddish sort of hair oh god yeah oh would, god oh my god i'm strange it that now. yeah i mean picture that yourself in blue skin right now do you like the look of that i will not yeah. Yes, got these filthy blue skin people. Whoa. I know, we're going yeah. full racist against blue people, ladies and gents. So I will not on this one. Yeah, we'll not. I don't yeah, know I was hovering I... over that button just then. I know, you're hovering over the button. <laughs> <what's going. laughs> yeah, so 54% um, were just in the majority, pretty much. Yes. Just in the majority. Right, uh, I think we'll, we shall do two more, shall we? Let's two do more. two more. Yeah. yeah. Two more, just to move the right. So, you can make anything taste like what you want it to, but you'll be oh. constantly hungry. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, anything taste so, you like could essentially make something you really don't like taste like chocolate cake, for example. Yeah. So, you, you could, could make. A, uh, you know, big head of uh, rotten cabbage. You could make it taste like the nicest yeah. thing in the world. But you'll be constantly hungry, though, even after you've eaten it, I'm guessing. Also, you'll be constantly sick because yeah. it's not going to stop the sickness. Even though that rotten cabbage is now going to taste like chocolate cake, Indeed. for example, it's still going to make you ill. Yeah. But for things that may not like, so if, you, if you're not a fan of, you know, um, like, like you said, cabbage or, or celery or something, you can make it taste like uh, mint chocolate ice cream if you wanted to. Yes. Um, but having said that, I don't know, being constantly hungry. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Uh, yeah, and, 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 and I've also thought if you're constantly hungry as well, you might, you know, start eating more stuff and yeah. then that'll lead to you getting fat. Indeed. You uh, get that diabetes. Yes. But Plus, I, think... I like the taste of most food. I mean, I've, I've got a big thing for fruit, veg and seafood, yes. which are extremely healthy stuff. Yeah. Uh, and that, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with, uh, yeah. with having that. I'm so I, I would say not. Yeah, yeah, same here. Will not. Okay, we're, yeah, in the majority, 55%. That's good. Okay. Good stuff. Final. Right, the last one then. Indeed. 
you have the ability to stop time for exactly one consecutive hour per day, but during that time you will age ten times faster. Okay, so, interesting. Oh. Yeah. Oh God, no! That's no. no I think that's, I, don't I think, think so. I think I've gone straight to will not for that one. Yeah. Because uh, age ten times fast. That's the great. So you'd be, you'd be by the time you use it uh, for a, a couple. Of, if you use it for a couple of hours, you're going to look like you're going to look like you're ninety. Indeed, yeah. Or a hundred. Uh, yeah. What was that old uh, kids' TV show from when we were kids? Was it the kid with the watch who could stop time? Um, do you remember that? Like oh, it sounds somewhat familiar. Yeah. I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, What's it called? Oh, oh man, that's going to book me now. Remember. I can picture the kid in my head right now. Um, but I've forgotten his name completely. This day, there was a there was a um, TV show back in the day when we were kids. And yeah. It was like, the story one was that a kid he had like a magic watch, and it, he could use it to like cause it all time to freeze around it, but he could still move around and do whatever he wanted. Yeah, oh. no, it does sound. Bernard's that. watch was that it? Bernard, was it? I feel like it might have been called Bernard's Watch. I don't know how pointing at the screen is going to help you there, but... I know. <laughs> yeah, because you just saw me on the webcam, yeah. didn't you do that? <laughs> I don't know yeah. why I'm pointing at the screen. <laughs> I f I, yeah, I feel like that was the name of it. But yeah, could you imagine if, uh, you know, that kid, when he stops time, suddenly starts ageing ten times faster? Yeah, that, turns no, into that's really bad. Over the course of the episode. <laughs> then he's dead. Yeah. You only get to do it for an hour a day. Indeed, I, yes. I would. Nah, I think this is a will not. Indeed, I think it's a will not. That's it, wipe your well. spit off the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spitting on my screen when I say burners. Okay, right, we're in the majority, 55%. Okay. Okay, so we were, we were, I think we were more in the minority than the majority there. But uh, we, we yeah. got a few majority, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, we, we didn't press the button, so uh, we're, yeah, 55% of people didn't press the button, so it's, yeah. it's a majority, just about, yeah. Even though it's a slim one. So, yes, uh, thank you for joining me then for this, uh, Phil. Yes, we've had another good uh, uh, good session here with Will You Press The Button, yes. which we haven't done for quite a while, so it's good to do it again. Thank you, Wheel Decide, for picking this one. Mm, uh, yes. And it was uh, with some good times. You know, speaking of browser games, I really want to play around with GeoGuessr again, so we'll have to hope I do, Wheel but that out. I'm afraid it's it's not up to us. Yeah, it's not up to uh, You know, we've surrendered all uh, decision-making power on which exactly. games we play to a bloody wheel on the internet. Because <laughs> yes. we are so cool. I know, because we're so, uh, you know... We're so subservient to the wheel. The wheel decides all. Yes. And if you disobey the wheel, oh, There's oh God, I, there is. You, you could even die. So we have to follow the wheel. We but uh, well, the wheel's been funny because we have a, a huge selection of games, yeah. and three <laughs> times in a row it picked Wolfenstein 3D. Indeed, yeah, you keep picking uh, out the same ones weirdly. But uh, it does that, but there you go. But yeah. this time we got. I think the last browser game we did was the the WikiHow quiz before this. Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, so we'll never know. The wheel may pick a another browser game. So fingers crossed, it's GeoGuessr. Yeah. But yes, it's been enjoyable to do. Will you press the button? And I hope uh, it does get picked again because it's certainly interesting these scenarios. And it's good because these are some new scenarios. Yes. Uh, I remember when we, because we kept doing it frequently, we kept getting some of the old yeah. old scenarios. But uh, because we haven't done it in quite a while, obviously people have uploaded new scenarios. Yeah, maybe that's the trick with these browser uh, yeah. games. You just got to leave it a little while between uh, each session where you do one. So that way you'll get more more kind of original content out of it. Yeah, I remember Would You Rather, we kept getting some of the same. So yeah. we haven't done Would You Rather in absolutely ages. So there could be some whole new scenarios in there. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, well, uh, time to wrap up then. So, Facebook and Twitter links down below as usual, along with Propagandist channel link if you're interested in that. But whoa, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. What about, what about your MySpace link? You can't My forget that one. <laughs> MySpace, good God. MySpace. Does anyone still use MySpace apart from, apart no. from old What's-His-Face, Tom, Tom, whatever it's called? No, I, I, think, I think, apparently I heard rumours that Tom left and just uh, just made his own account on Facebook. <laughs> uh, He's on Facebook now. Well. Yeah, uh, so and I remember terrible. on there where you did the... Um, you did a story of the time we went paintballing. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, my God, back. that was years uh, ago. That was years ago. Yeah, Bloody good old hell, paintballing. Yes. Bit of fun, that one. Flipping uh, yeah. But yes, your Facebook and Twitter links always there in the description, ready for people to go and see your comments on various different things, isn't it? Indeed, yes. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. But in the meantime, this is the two of us signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. And just to say, will you press that button? Decide yes or no. Jumping. I just tapped a few keys randomly. Oh, oh god! Get back here! Jesus! Who'd have thought a seagull could be that scary? Although, um, 
this video that I'm recording now probably won't go up on my channel until, you know, probably for a couple of weeks. At least until I finish Gatling Gears. Because obviously I've only got a few more episodes of that left to upload. But obviously by the time I upload this, they'll all have been uploaded. So, yeah. Hopefully you can follow that line of thought. Um, yeah, I'm literally just um, recording this after doing that second 